I know, but of course, for the audience and people who are going to be listening and watching, um, how did you come to get involved with Ambition Ladies? Um, I was at work one day, and Lynette. Mm -hmm. Shout out Lynette <laughs> for making the connection. She mentioned... She used to be my personal assistant. I need to find her. <laughs> she mentioned you mm -hmm. to me. But I wasn't really paying attention. I'm like, man, whatever. I'm still keep doing this dental assistant job. She's like, I know a guy, you know. He has an agency. You should see him. You should check him out. And then, like, that, that was a while ago. That was, like, two years she told me that. Yeah, some time passed before time, we finally yeah, come. Yeah, a lot of time passed. Yeah. And then she messaged me again when she saw my pictures. Mm -hmm. And she goes, are you trying to be a model? Are you a model? And I was like, no, but I want to be one. Mm -hmm. And she says, um, you need to call him. His name <laughs> is so-and-so. His name is Esau, blah, 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 blah. Here's his information. And so I looked you up on IG. And that's when I started, like, tagging you in my pics. Right. I remember. To get your attention. Like, hey, I'm here. I was like, whoa, <laughs> what do we have here? <laughs> So yeah, that's how I got started. Right. In okay. Ambition and then Ladies. and then we we met. We met up three times before I was actually signed to Ambition Ladies. We met three times. Yes, we did, sir. You Re don't remember? Refresh. I remember we met at the Marriott. Okay, I met so you in another model. We um yes, yeah, so we met at the Marriott, and then um we met up. Oh no, I'm sorry, it was twice. And pause. Always, any models out there, if you're ever working with a photographer or anybody in the model industry. Make sure they're not crazy. Yeah, always try to meet them in a public place. That's yes. just a word of advice. Any models I've ever worked with, I've met, I always try to meet in a place where it's public and they feel comfortable. So that's just pause, break for that word of advice. So we met at the Marriott. I remember that. Yeah, the Marriott. Um, and that's when we filled out like the questionnaire. Mm -hmm. Why I want to be a model. Have we met before that or we met after? Um, Did we meet after? We met know. after that. Okay. Then we met at another restaurant. Okay. And then you was just trying to see if I was serious. I remember. That. Yes, yes, yes. Told you I was serious. Right, 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 right. <laughs> because that's one thing that's important for me because, you know, a lot of people don't know from the outside looking in when... I decide, we decide, my team decides to work with a model. It's an investment for us. Yes. Uh, a hefty investment. So it's important for me, that's the one thing that I look for from any model is, are you serious? You know, because I know what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to set you up with this, do this, do this, which we'll get into some of the stuff you're now doing. Um, so yeah, I, that was probably just wanted to make sure you were serious. And... I remember asking you to come to the initial meeting just dry, no makeup. Mm -hmm. And I was dry with no and makeup. And what did you think when I asked you that? I was like... Were you surprised? Or? I was surprised, okay. but I see the reason why. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think it. you should show up anywhere with a ton of makeup on. Right. You can't see what right. you really look like. Right, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It was a little test, but you passed. I was like, no makeup? What the... Huh? Right. All right. right. All right. So, um, you have your first photo shoot, you know, you're feeling confident, you're feeling good, you can do this, um, you know, you get approached by someone in regards to what's going on with Ambition Ladies, so just kind of take us through, you know, as you mature on your modeling journey, uh, some of your experiences, especially for models who may be watching this in the mm -hmm. future mm -hmm. in terms of just some advice that you would give them along your journey, like good experiences, bad experiences. Let's talk about some of those. Let's talk about some of the good experiences that you had in terms of maybe having a photo shoot, going back, looking, the confidence you got from that. Is there anything else you can add to that in terms of mm -hmm. what modeling did for your self-esteem as well? Because you said you didn't have yeah. good self-esteem growing up. Um, you look confident to me now. <laughs> it just helped me, like, self-esteem-wise. It just helped mm -hmm. me to really, like, realize, like, you know, how good I am, mm -hmm. um, how good I look. Um, and it really helped me to, like, not really care what other people had to say. Mm. Um, because it's kind of like you putting yourself out there to the world to be. Yeah. 
critiqued, judged. Yeah, yes, definitely. Sometimes and that was people, another thing that I was worried about. Yeah. But you know what? Oh, well. Right. Sometimes people say mean things on social media. They do. Yeah. They say a lot of mean things. Mm -hmm. But it could come out of jealousy. Mm -hmm. um, people are going to have anything and everything to say about you, whether you're doing good or bad or better than them. And it's usually the ones that's hating are the ones that's not really doing nothing mm -hmm. with themselves. That's true. What about some of the bad experiences being a newer mm. model? I, I know from conversations that we've had some of the things that you've dealt with. And, you know, feel free. This is conversations. We keep it real. We keep it raw. So feel free to be as transparent. But just talk about some of the bad experiences you've had because they do happen in this industry. Yes. You know, um, a you lot of, be careful. A lot of bad um, experience, the main, main, main bad experience I had um, is working with photographers that weren't professional. Mm, okay, elaborate. Um, just ones that you, that, how should I put this? Trying to be politically correct, I see. <laughs> <laughs> um, the ones that didn't really Make sure I be careful what I say. Or, um, or not. I'm going to be careful what I say. <laughs> um, it's just the ones that you have to watch out for photographers that just aren't professional. So this is, Once some, they this is get, some advice you would give to other models. This is, yes, definitely yeah. advice. Um, I, w I wouldn't recommend doing any nude pictures with mm. photographers you don't know. Right. Um, because once you don't want to work with them or you see how they really are, they get mad at you and try to put you out there as something that you're not. Mm. So you, you've had that experience. I've had, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's the only thing I would recommend. Um, make sure like you bring like some energy mm -hmm. when you do like photo shoots. Um, what else? There's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I just can't think right now. That's all good. <laughs> we'll go on to the next question, and maybe you know some other stuff will come to your mind. What are some of your most fun experiences that you've enjoyed um, as a model? And mm -hmm. since being part of Ambition Ladies, too, you can group that in if you want to. Um, well, one of the most fun experiences I had in Ambition Ladies is working with the other ladies that are models. Mm -hmm. um, I like to see all of us interact with the shoots that we've done. Mm -hmm. I liked um, to see... Um, everyone just doing what they like to do and just having fun and just every seeing everyone grow. Mm -hmm. That's the most fun, most fun experience I've had in Ambition Ladies, you know, so far. Um, and just being around females that aren't catty. Right. That's what I enjoyed the most. Um, what else? Um, just learning how to talk mm -hmm. being here with, with mm -hmm. Rock. I've definitely, you know, part of part of my gratification is seeing other people grow. Mm -hmm. Seeing them go from point mm -hmm. A to point B to point C. Mm -hmm. uh, because really Ambition Ladies, is, is, it's a brand. Mm -hmm. It's a model brand. It's a lifestyle brand. Uh, but it's a place where, it's a platform where models can come and grow. And Hopefully, go on to bigger and better things mm -hmm. and remember where they started and remember where they came from. You right. know, I want to see you in bright lights one 